So on the topic of kind of best practices in an M&A process, I mean, there are a lot of things that you can talk about that can be done well. Um, one of the things that I feel is frequently overlooked um, is there's, there's usually, a, you know, often a good amount of pressure to start the process, to get out there, get engaged with the market, get feedback, get meetings, all those things. And it's very understandable. And, and, and frankly, as advisors, we want it too. Frankly, it's, it's, it's one of the fun parts. Um, but I've learned over the years that it's really important to make sure that you have prepared adequately up front. And not only the simple stuff like putting together a compelling set of marketing materials, but really knowing you know, some of the hard data about your business. Too often I've seen processes be unnecessarily slowed down or kind of thrown off the rails by the fact that we don't know the answers to questions that we've already thought of before we even go to market. And so it's really important that we take the time to do that um, before we start engaging you know, prospective acquirers.